But we begin with developing news. Providence's Board of Licenses has ordered the $3 bar to stay closed after two violent incidents outside the Atwells Avenue bar in one week. The decision was made after a long and contentious meeting that had to be moved to a bigger location because so many people showed up. It's an abomination what goes on around here. Okay, you're done? I'm done. Okay. The exchange got heated at times. New at 6, the bar owners claim that this shutdown is racially motivated. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live outside of City Hall. Sean. Yes, emotions boiled over here at Providence City Hall this afternoon as the city's Board of Licenses voted to keep a Federal Hill nightclub shut down after recent violence. It's an abomination what goes on around here. Recent violence outside the $3 bar on Federal Hill triggered a noisy and chaotic hearing this afternoon at the Providence Board of Licenses. A beating a week ago today left a man dead, and a few days later, roughly two dozen people were involved in a melee outside the nightclub. Before the hearing, Federal Hill business owners and their supporters marched to City Hall to show their anger about the nightclub violence, which they argue is scaring customers away. We've had some issues. We've had my, I've had my front windows broken. Broken a couple of times. Uh, a lot of people get drunk unorderly, and it's very important that we make our voice heard. Very and what important. is your voice saying? Well, enough is enough. So let's have a little bit more control, class. After hearing testimony from police officers who witnessed the melee, the Board of Licenses voted to keep the $3 bar shut down for now. The owner of the nightclub is angry. He argues the pushback from business owners on Federal Hill is rooted in racism. Because all these people are stuck in the 1950s, I'm going to back down. It's changed. America has changed. Social people have changed. Can you get, get with it? You're saying es essentially that they're racist. Well, absolutely. They're racist? Uh, uh, that's, yes, yes, yes. I'm calling them all racist. Because if not, they wouldn't be making this much noise. A nightclub owner fighting back as the Providence Board of Licenses votes to crack down on violence on Federal Hill. Live at City Hall with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.